Yeah, thank you guys. Well, we are here with uh, former Mayor Don McLaughlin. Don, you were, you were the mayor at the time of the shooting. How does it feel now to have basically all of your emails, the body cam footage, the dash cam footage, all of it now released to the public? Well, I mean, from day one, from the very right after this, I, I said everybody, every agency, every group that was there needed to lay their cards on the table. I mean, it was a tragedy happened that day. Our heart breaks for these families and, and, and their loss. And holding, withholding information, to me, what do we have to hide? We need to lay it all on the table and play it, lay our cards. And if we have lumps to take, we need to take those lumps. Now that all the information is out there, including, I think, thousands of your emails and whatnot, do you think that it helps provide some transparency as to what happened that day? Well, I mean, I, I was under the impression that the city had released most of their uh, information uh, early on in June, in that June after the shooting. I know we released all the body cams in and that. So I don't know that they're going to find anything in my emails that's going to be enlightening to them. But I mean, I hope there's information there that can, that can hope uh, give some of these families some peace. I, I mean, still, I mean, there's other agencies still withholding information, which I don't understand why. Uh, two years, you know, two years, four months later, and we're still withholding the information. In my opinion, that's ridiculous. Uh, to to that point, two years later, this is when the information comes out. It's almost like it continues to come out in a dribble instead of, you know, like a fire hose. It, it, should these other organizations like DPS and uh, the county reveal their cards, show their cards, reveal all this information so we know exactly what happened that day? Well, oh, yes, I, in my opinion, they should. Because every time you do this, all you do is open that wound up and pour salt back in that wound. Why do, they, why do these families have to keep reliving this with bits and pieces of their information coming out when it should have just been, it should have been released months ago, not years ago? I want to ask you a couple of things specifically about what was released. You got some communication from uh, other cities that this has happened in, Aurora and whatnot, from mayors like that. You also received a lot of death threats um, yeah. that were revealed. What was that experience like for you? You know, I mean, uh, most people didn't, you know, if I would have had authority or could have changed something down there that day, I would have. I, I, I don't. I'm not a law enforcement officer, so forth. You know, it was pretty... Uh, uh, there were a few of them that were they were a little bit more scarier than others. I mean, uh, so forth. But I mean, uh, I was fortunate enough that uh, we got through it, and nothing was there. But I, you know, there were quite a few death threats that came through, and a lot of hate emails, a lot of cussing emails, and so forth. I, I did also want to ask you, what has this whole experience taught you about the communication between city departments, whether that's the mayor to the chief or to the police or or anything like that? Well, there needs to be open, there, there needs to be communication. I mean, the one thing that I did try to do when I was mayor is I did talk to the different departments. I would tell the city manager, hey, let's talk to the police chief or whatever, and I think that needs to continue. Uh, I mean, we're not involved in the day-to-day -day law enforcement or the policing of the deal, but still we need to be kept apprised of, of what they're doing and what's going on and vice versa. If we know something that they need to know or change, then they need to know. Perfect. From emails and body cam and stuff like that. You had Mariano Padagas, um, the call that he made to, to dispatch, and they told him eight to nine kids are still probably alive in those rooms. And then he hangs up. Obviously, they didn't go in for another 33 minutes. Do you think that these that the release of this stuff will help bring people to justice and, and, and maybe have more accountability? Well, I mean, you know, I've said all along there was a failure of leadership that day in law enforcement, not just from the school police department or our police department, but every agency that was there. Because there were senior officers there that were more senior than our police chief, more mm -hmm. senior than the school police chief, and so forth. So there needs to be accounting from all those agencies of what they've done. By dragging, by hope, withholding information or withholding files, you know, this is never going to stop. Let's lay them on the table. Has this, this information, correct me if I'm wrong, this information, um, everything that was released, I'm pretty sure, has been seen by the DA and, and by everybody else already, correct? It's just being released to the public? Yes, as far as I know, I mean, I, I thought this had been released a while back. Gotcha. I mean, there may be things that I'm not aware of that I'm not in the loop anymore. Right, obviously, you're not the mayor anymore. But, yeah. Um, the accountability aspect of it is just so interesting to me because the families are hoping for accountability. They're, they're beating the drum, trying to hold the police responsible for what happened that day. Will this help or will the information being released from DPS and everybody help if they if they end up having to release that information? Well, I mean, I, you know, my question is has been the same since day one. What does DPS have to lose by releasing what they have? Is there something there that we don't know? Did you do something we're not aware of that we should be aware of? 
I mean, let's be transparent and lay the cards on the table. I, I don't think it, you know, I think somebody said once, well, it has to do with operational secrecy or whatever, baloney. 19 mm -hmm. children, two teachers lost their lives that day. There should be nothing that shouldn't be laid on the table to bring this out. Uh, so, since you're running for the, the, the seat here, um, you guys will have the ability to hold people accountable a little bit better from, from that seat, you know. If you do get into the state house, will that be something that you try and do is hold DPS and their leaders accountable for what happened that day? Well, I think that, again, I haven't been privy to the investigation on that side, but I, if, if I win the seat, I'll get to read the files at least, and then I'll know. But I mean, I think that that day, every, every officer in a leadership capacity should be held accountable to some form or another. I mean, I, I, there's just no way around that. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Mayor? You know, like I said, our hearts still break for these families every time we think about it. And, you know, they shouldn't be going through this 24 months or 28 months later. Mm -hmm. And here we are with another trove. And then if it's a, a month from now or two months from now or three months from now, DPS releases theirs or are forced to release theirs, then they have to relive this over and over and over. And that's not fair to these families, and it's not fair to this community to have to do it that way. Thank you, Mayor.